Hi, and welcome to a new InfoChart tutorial. Today we are talking about digital signature and how to sign a document with GoSign Desktop. First of all, make sure you have downloaded the desktop app to digitally sign from the InfoChart website and have your remote signature account or your InfoChart device ready. Firstly, if you have a device, connect it to your computer and open GoSign Desktop. At this point, the first thing to check is that the digital signature has been inserted correctly within the software in your Configure menu. Then, open the Your Signatures tab, and if you want, you can also set your signature image by loading a PNG or a JPEG file. Finally, next to Device Signature or Remote Signature, make sure the word Active is present. Let's begin. Click on Signature and upload a document you have on your desktop. Once you've uploaded a document, if it's a PDF, you can choose the format CADES or PADES. What's the difference between these two formats? If you choose the CADES format, the file extension will be a .p7m, and you will need GoSign Desktop to open it up again. On the other hand, if you select the PADES format, the final file will end in .pdf, which means that you will be able to open it with any device as long as there is a PDF reader. I chose the .pdf format, and in the following step, I will set up the signature images inside the document. Obviously, besides inserting the signature image, you will be able to insert other optional parameters, such as the location of the person signing, or their mail address. If you bought GoSign's Pro license, you'll be able to sign more documents at the same time. And in this way, you can work on each single document, inserting several signature images, and even more than one image on each document. Once you've inserted the signature images in your document, click on Confirm, and the system will ask whether you want to add a timestamp, which increases the legal value of your document. Lastly, if you've chosen to sign with your device, insert the signature pin and wait for the application to confirm. Let's see now how to sign a file with your remote signature in a CADES format in .p7m. Open a document, and of course, this time, the .p7m format doesn't require you to insert a signature image. Select the remote signature certificate you want to use, insert the pin, and lastly, your OTP, which you received via SMS or which you generated through the InfoChart app. We've seen how to sign a document digitally in the .p7m format or in .pdf using your signature device or an InfoChart remote signature. In the description, you will find the link to all the useful material we saw in this video. Don't forget to sign up to our channel and click on the bell so you can be updated on all our tutorials. Thanks for following us.